Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you the trade day results. We're going to go into this with 48 trades with 9 minutes left. So people might be sending in some last second trades or last minute trades. But we're going to go through this and we're going to go from the least value in players to the most value. And the least would have to be sadly the flurry. I'm not really sure what his price is, but I think it's around 40 or 50,000 coins. And we have a trade of 22,000, which sadly is... That's not enough. That's not close enough. Some of these trades, I'm not really sure exactly. I looked at some of them, but I didn't look at all of them. Some of these trades, I will be like giving you guys a bit of an edge. Like if you would have sent 35,000, if he's worth 40, I'm not really sure exactly what he's worth, but I know he's worth at least 30. If you would have sent like 27, if he's worth 30, I would have accepted it. But this one is a bit too low, especially since I just bought him recently and I paid more than 20,000 for him. The next player I would probably have to say is either Hansel or probably Giroux. I think Giroux's worth maybe, actually, I'd say Giroux's worth a bit less. So let's check out Giroux here. Looking for about 40,000 to 50,000. Phil Kessel, which I don't have him and he's good. He's worth about 40,000, 50,000 maybe. Obviously better than this and the Rangers jersey that's just deducting pucks or coins from that, the 26,000. I'm gonna have to go with the Kessel again. Drew might be worth three or four thousand more coins, but I'd rather have Kessel on my team in my opinion. I need to score more goals, so Kessel, thank you for this trade. I do really, really appreciate it, and hopefully you do enjoy your Giroux. But anyway, let's get back into this and see what other trades we have. We have 13 for Pavel Bure, which is really good. How much? We have seven minutes, so we just got to make sure we don't lose track of those. The next player, I would say, would have to be Hansel for sure. Hansel has four trades. I'm looking for about 40,000. He's also a very rare player. The first one, we have Clapperton, so it's basically in the negatives. We're going to reject this one. I mean, there are some nice rookies in here. Well, the first two guys are. But besides that, nope, not even any coins. Teravainen, no, thank you. He's, I think he's worth actually like 10,000 coins, but still not even close to worth it. Hansel is, again, I'd say 40, 50,000 coins. That's what he was. I paid like 50,000 for him, and there's only like two or three up. Well, there was two or three up. 15,000 coins and a ranger jersey again that's lowering the price of when you send ranger stuff so no thank you 16,000 coins loot cheech which i'm not sure how much he's worth like four or five thousand coins and sharp mm, i'm gonna have to say no i like the coins that you're sending but if you would have sent more maybe but i'm gonna have to say no and again patch ready He's not really worth much anymore. Shattenkirk, not really worth much. Bowmeister, they're not really worth much. And Miller, not really worth much with not really any coins. I'm going to have to reject it. So it looks like we're not going to be selling Hansel unless we get some last second trades. The next player is going to have to be Bufflin, which I bought like two weeks ago for 120,000 coins. And of course, his price drops so much down. It's almost half. He's worth around 80 to 90,000 coins now. So the first trade, we get a Bufflin who's worth around 7k plus basically 62,000 coins. So almost 70,000 coins here. We have Dowdy, which is worth about 70,000, 75,000. So this one beats this one. So I'm going to have to reject it. Although we do get coins straight up, but I'm going to have to reject this one. I'd rather have a Dowdy. Then we have Thornton and 10,000. Yeah, that's 10,000. Um, no, thank you on that one. Thanks for the trade, but it's not really that close. And the last one is 50,000 coins, which obviously is not worth the 70,000 in Dowdy. And this jersey, which I'll never even see or use. So I'm going to have to reject that as well. And we're going to actually accept this. I mean, I think probably could get more for Bufflin trying to just straight up sell him because he's kind of a rare card. There's not too many of them up. But I'm going to have to accept this one because I do like Dowdy and I'd rather have him on the team. So thank you for the trade. And we're going to go back to the active auctions with how much time left? Five minutes left. So we are going to quickly go, but not too quick because there are some last second trades. We got one more for Beret and I believe one more for Gabrick. And it looks like Crosby's actually getting trades. I feel like they're probably troll trades, but... Let's go on with Duchesne, who's worth about 90k, maybe 80k. This trade, Vorchek, is about 45, so no thank you on that one. 75,000, nah, I'd rather get coins for him, see what we can get. Datsuk, Howard, Pavelski, no, Datsuk's about 50,000, no thank you. 70,000, obviously, that's worse than the other one. Datsuk, Latang, no thank you, I have Datsuk. Uh, this one's about, like, 79, 80k, almost, so that's pretty good. Rick Nash, it's good, but, mm. oh, 91 overall, Yager, I think he goes for about 100 to 110, 
Uh, it's hard because there's the team of the year one, but you know what? I'm gonna YOLO this and I'm gonna accept this. I'm not really sure what this one goes for. This, I believe, I believe, yeah, that's the 91 Yager, so that's the better one. I think there's an 89 milestone Yager, so that one might have not been the greatest trade, but you know what? We're just gonna do it. Hopefully, it's a pretty good trade to at least be even for me, even if I only get 80,000 for Yager, but we're gonna do that. He's a pretty rare card. Well, milestone one is but now there's like five different types of yagers so his price might go down we have four minutes left so let's do gabrick i paid 180 for him like a few weeks ago but he's worth around 150 160 thousand now let's see what we get uh first trade not good at all i'm sorry but not good and value wise player wise good 100 and basically 121k it's pretty good straight up coins though i like that obviously 80k and 121k pretty big difference 105k well these are all um this one uh, some good players, but the players aren't worth that much. Pavelski, not worth too much. He's worth like 3k, 4k. Latang, like 10 to 15k. Bishop, I don't even know what he goes for. And Kopitar, maybe 20, 30k. So, no thank you on this one. Uh, and we have, oh, obviously, gonna go with the one with the most coins. So there's like four coin offers here. And I probably would rather just try to sell Garrick for like 150, but... I think his price is going to keep dropping, sadly, so we're going to just accept this 121,000 coins. Thank you for the trade. I hope you enjoyed Gabrick. He was good, but again, I want to accept these trades. I just don't want to reject them all. So we have three minutes left. I think that's plenty of time. Let's go to the Beret, which uh, I believe he's a 170, 175. Let's see what we have here. John Tavares, pretty good trade, but he's not worth 200,000 coins, so we're going to have to reject this. Patrick Kane in 20k, that's good, that's about 160, that's close. Savard, I looked on the market, there wasn't any up before, but I don't know what he's worth. I know he's a really, really, really rare card, but I don't know what people are actually going to pay for him. Yager, 50,000, no, not close, really. Uh, Luongo, 77,000, not 70, so that's not close then either. Uh, 120,000, that's close, but Kane's worth that more than that alone. And we get 20,000 coins. Darren Helm, which is worth around 100 to 110, but again, Kane's worth more than that, plus the coins in that one. Uh, Bork, Luongo, Hamilton, again, eh, not too great for the value. Some good players there, but not too great for the value. Oh, this is a better Kane trade, so I believe it is. Is that 40,000? Yeah, 40,000 in Kane, and this one is 20,000 in Kane, so we're going to reject this one, and we get this one, which is a Leafs Kane, so his value is really bad now, but... This one is one, this is straight up coins, but again, Kane could be worth more than 135, plus we get the 40,000, so we're going to reject that one. Pronger, which is also an extremely rare card, but I don't know who it's gonna, who's going to buy them. This one is about 120, but Kane trades better. And Haglins are worth around 110, so this could be 150, 160, but I'd still say the Kane trade is better. And this one is just really, really rare card with coins. Kane, which is worth like 130, so it's 170. This is what Burray's worth. And Prong, who's also a really, really, really rare card, but I just don't know how easy either of these guys would be to sell. I know Kane's a big guy right there. He's got amazing stats, really popular player. And obviously, he's in high in demand. Well, there's Pronger and Savard, who could be high in demand because there's none on the market. Literally, there's zero for each of them right now. But again, I mean, Pronger, he's 90 overall, so he's got like good stats now but again they're not big end players because they're both basically retired and there's not many up so sadly i think i'm gonna go with this one i could lose out here i know pronger apparently was last price hold is 192,000, but there's none in the market i don't know who's gonna want him really and savard i have no clue about him so i could be losing out here but i'm gonna go with kane thank you for whoever sent these three as well as the other ones i honestly really appreciate it. the other kane offer is pretty good but I'm going to accept this one, and I hope you enjoy your beret. He's a really, really, really good card. Now we have 13 seconds. Let's see what we have real quick. Crosby, uh, we're going to... I don't know what that's worth. Um, Kopitar. Um, 416 Kopitar. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, looking at these, I don't really see any that stand out. 80,000 coins. I know it obviously expired, and I feel bad for that. I was trying to go as quick as I can. Price is worth around one... I see. He's worth... I looked before. He's like 130. Petrangelo is worth around one... No, he's worth around 250. 
80, that's not what I paid for him. We're going to reject that one. Okay. Oh, I just lost it all. I feel terrible about that. So, from those trades I saw, Backstrom's only worth around 450, which is good, but wasn't there. So, I would never saw the Taves, but I'm not really sure what he's going for. Kind of disappointed I didn't see what was going on, didn't notice the time, and I feel bad for that. But I don't think I would have accepted any of those, to be honest. But... I want to see what this Taves is worth. I don't know which... I don't know if there's multiple Taves up, but we're going to check real quick. Um, I'm hoping he's not worth too much. I don't know how much he would be worth. He's basically just Crosby. He's 95 overall. And I don't know... I didn't really check his stats, so we're going to quickly go into this and hopefully he's not worth like 900,000. I don't know what... he. Uh, he's not a playmaker. But, um... I'm not sure. So 560,000 coins. There's only one up. So it's kind of a mix-up because Crosby's worth around 550. He's a lot bigger of a player, like big name player. Stats look pretty similar. So again, I feel terrible about this that I couldn't actually look at them all and accept them. But the Backstrom not was not going to accept that. The price in Petrolangelo was not going to accept that. It was close, but was not going to accept that. And the other trades were good, but eh, like the the um, Kopitar one. That was close, but it wasn't what I wanted. I want around 550 for Crosby, 600 maybe. That's a bit too much in my opinion right now anyway, but his price is rising. So that trade was definitely the closest, but I had no clue what it was. So I might have not even accepted that. And with only like 10 seconds left, I couldn't accept it. So I'm really, really sorry about that. But I accepted all the trades but two. And then the Crosby trade basically got rejected itself. So I'm sorry about that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.